So here we're going to cut off limp. We raise the button, ace, queen of diamonds, and get three by the small blind. And in position here, I think we'll continue just to call. And going to flop the flush out here on king, nine, eight. See a bigger bet here. Uh, I think with the stacked pot ratio with what it's at and having some fold equity here, I'm just going to jam this in. See a call and doesn't look like we're going to get there. And we lose to king queen, unfortunately. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And you've already seen one hand from the session. We did have some audio issues early on, so I'm putting in the intro now. Uh, so for today's session, we're starting out with some 2-5 cash games. But since we did hit that 100K profit mark, we will be playing some 5-10 if a game gets up and running as well. So let's see if we can run good and uh, book our first ever win at 5-10. Here we get a low jack limp. We're going to raise the hijack with pocket kings to get called. Uh, Opponent starts pretty short here under 30 big lines, so we'll put out a C bet on the 10 6 4. Jams on us will be calling. And it looks like we're going to be good. Let's see what our opponent had here. Our opponent had 8 7 offsuit, so they flopped a gut shot straight draw. Low jack open, hijack flat here, we'll go for the squeeze on the button of ace jack. So we open the ace jack, get called here. Uh, I think I'm gonna be betting like pretty close to range here, so I'm going to bet in with the hand. Like if we're gonna find some checkbacks, this place is a really good checkback. Um, but again, kind of want to stay balanced in these spots. So we'll bet and then just get like the sweet turn card here. Going to bet half pot here. I think I'm gonna have a lot of checks. So I even thought about checking this to go ahead and then check jam river. Uh, but instead I decided to bet here and then we're clean run out here. So any like straight draws miss. So about pot behind, we'll go ahead and jam for value. Time banking down to three, two, one, and makes the call. We're good versus the king nine of clubs and a nice little double up for us. Uh, here we open the button, queens get called by the big line, going to flop middle set here. Go ahead and bet. See a call, 10 of clubs on the turn here. Uh, I think we can have a lot of over bets here on this turn. Uh, flush draw, ace, queen, 10 high. So obviously mainly just worried about king jack, but uh, we're gonna have a lot of the strongest hands they won't have. I expect them to three bet aces, kings, and tens all pre-flop here. Um, even a hand like ace, five suit, I think it's gonna be three betting at some frequency. Uh, ace queen is going to be three betting so like in general it's going to be a range advantage for us here um, river seven and lead jams into us this is absolutely sick oh I hate this I think we just have to call but is he ever finding a single bluff here and maybe this is a nit roll I'm doing right now but just like this is a good player I just don't see them <laughs> like dock jamming after I overbet without it. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Would he ever do this with a bluff? And again, so like I've played this guy, he seems like a solid player, so I don't think it's just someone going nuts. I <sighs> This spot really sucks. He can't have a worse value hand doing this. And I don't think he's bluffing, and we're not getting a good price. So maybe we find out later that he's capable of just like going nuts with like a king or jack of clubs here. I, I just don't think the average player is finding this. I really don't. I guess we just fold the set. Ugh, I feel like a nit, but we're going to let the set go. Let me know what you guys think there. All right, so open the button with kings, a big blind, three bets. Time for the four bet. And just see a call here, um, ace, jack, five. So we see the vaunted ace here. I think our range is going to be betting here on this board, so we'll bet this time as well. 
See the call. Good turn card here. Less likely they have an ace. Um, also, I think preflop, I'm trying to think about what aces they can have here. Probably not like a ton, a ton. So I'm going to check. 10 river. Don't love this. Is a flush draw is maybe something they could have. Size of jam. <sighs> Why does this have to be a ton of hearts? I'm going to call. This might be bad, though. And, oh, yes, we are good. All right, so I saw the money getting pushed his way, but it was actually us, so he decided to turn Jack-10 into a bluff there, and we end up being good. All right, low jack open, high jack flat. We'll call big blind ace six at diamonds. Flop two pair here, ace six, five, two spades. Huge flop for us. Unfortunately, checks through. A queen turn, I'm going to be betting. Thought about setting up a turn check raise too, but decided just to lead out here. Get one call, nine of clubs on the river, and going to go for some value with our two pair. And see a pretty quick call, and the ace six of diamonds will be good. Up against ace five, so two pair versus two pair. Going to play this as a call here versus the three bet. I think we can do some four betting as well. Decided to just call this time. Uh, flop comes down, jack six, four, one heart. See the check here, ace turn. Uh, going to check here. And a river seven. Going to go for some value. Get raised, this is absolutely wild. Um. Is someone really slow playing both flop and turn with something that's really good by the turn? I don't, and he three bets pre. Like I don't think he has sevens three betting. I think he just flats those pre. So like that's not something that should change much here. Uh, but I feel like people under bluff these spots. End up making the call. He had a set of jacks. Very well played by him. And we maybe end up getting a little too sticky there. Uh, over here, limp pots. We'll go ahead and check. Flop the ace high flush draw. Um, had a spot like this earlier where we set up a check raise. We're going to do the exact same thing this time with the nut flush draw. Jams on us. I mean, this is just such a massive jam. Oh, I think we just have to call this is so stupid, though. I mean, they don't have two pair plus like we're getting the right odds to call, right? I think... Oh my gosh, this is a limp pot. We're just going to get it on the flop. What the heck? Um, so 541 to win 663. Jeez. Oh, I mean, if he has two pair plus, we're not going to write price, but I'd have to imagine there's... You know, if he's just going nuts, even with like king, queen, we have a lot of equity. Uh, it's, it's just so much money to put in on a limp pot preflop, but we'll call it off. Not going to get there. Lose to ace-queen. I'm going to run that spot later. All right, that's going to wrap up our cash session for today. So we played for about three hours today. Uh, we did play a very few amount of hands at 510. So we played 56 hands where we lost 261. Played 929 hands at 2.5 where we lost 2.03. Total loss on the day at minus 465. Uh, we were up about like 600, like right towards the end of the session. Ended up losing about 1,100 from that point, like right at the very end, which is kind of a frustrating way to end the day. But uh, let me know what you guys think. A lot of interesting hands today, uh, including that last hand with the uh, ace high flush draw. I don't know if I got a little out of line there versus the massive jam in a limp pot. Also, that hero call we made with the pocket kings. I'd be curious on that, as well as my hero fold on the queen. So lots of interesting hands today, a lot for me to review. So if you guys enjoyed today's vlog and are watching on YouTube, please be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week, every Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you ever want to know my live streaming schedule on Twitch, I post that every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Schedule tab.